so let's dive in. This is the Bass Forage Rex Brown Edition by Joey Sturge's Tones. Over here we have our gate, we have our input, our output, we have a 7 band EQ, we have A and B switches so you can switch between different settings, we have a character knob that goes from clean to nasty, it's almost like a distortion, we have a drive knob and then we have a thump, a contour, and a bark. Those are pretty much your low end, mid range, and your high end. Up here you can save presets. There's also some factory presets. There's some JST community presets. Up here to the top right, you have your tuner. You have a little question mark next to it, so if you click that, that'll access the manual if you ever need it, if you have any questions. Down here you have your signal path. If you click it, you can see you have your pedal, your amp, your cab, Joey's Magic, which I'm not 100% sure what that does. I'm pretty sure it's like a booster of some sort. And then you have your effects, an EQ, and a limiter. You have your Vintage 2 preamp pedal, you have a blend knob, you have an era knob which goes from an older, kind of darker tone to a more modern tone, you have a drive knob, and you have a level. Over here you have your cab, you can use an 8x10 with impulse responses from PR40, U87s, a sub kick, and a 421. There's also options for a JST match cab. And then also if you ever want to upload your own impulse responses, they have options to do that. Next comes our effects. We have a bass chorus pedal. And then over here, we have a reverb pedal with a mono stereo switch, size knobs, length knobs, mix knob. Next is our parametric EQ for your low frequencies, mid frequencies, high frequencies, stuff like that. And then lastly comes my favorite part of the plugin, which is a compressor slash, slash limiter of sorts. A and B where you can compress or limit either your low end or high end separately, which is super useful. So the bass used at the beginning of this video, I recorded as a DI. I just went directly into my interface and then into the bass forage Rex Brown. Here's what it sounds like just completely DI without anything on it. This is what it sounds like with the plugin on. And if you want to hear it in the mix, 